Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen what is pip command and what is pypy, pypi, right? How to install those external packages that are in that repository, public repository pypy on your laptop with the help of a package installer or package manager that is pip, pip. How to use those things we have discussed in previous video and what is a package? That thing we have discussed in detail with real life examples, two real life examples. So to watch this video, I would recommend to go and watch previous video first because it's very important to clear the basics. It's very important to understand what is a package. If you know what is a package, then it's good you can watch directly this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, how to create your own package. What are user defined packages and how to create your own packages, right? A package is simply, I have told you, it's just a collection of modules or sub packages. Okay. Making, uh, you know, uh, the access of modules and sub packages easy. Like in your laptop also, you have folders, you have folders within folders and like this, just to arrange some data. Like we have discussed that thing. Uh, if you are arranging pictures on your laptop, then we have a folder pictures within that folder. You are having different, different folders of maybe year wise, like 2022, 2023, 21 pictures. And within those folders also, you have different, different folders again, like road trip, uh, road trip uh, folder, or maybe you can say farewell, or maybe you can say like uh, any other trip like this. And then you have actual pictures. So folder within folders within folders and then pictures like this just to arrange the data so that you can access the pictures easily if you put if you put all the pictures under single folder only you have a folder pictures and you are just copy pasting or just putting all the pictures in that folder so it would be very tough to access the you know the pictures a particular picture if you want to search so that is why same thing packages in program also, if you are working on a large project or a large application, then there would be, I guess, many modules, multiple modules. So when there are many modules, then definitely after some point of time, it would be not easy to manage to track all the modules. So what we do, we just do grouping of modules. We just group similar type of modules, the modules having similar functionality in one group, right? And that is known as package. So package is basically a you can say collection of modules or collection of like modules and sub sub packages making the sub packages and modules easy to access right now we will see in this video how to create your own package right in one example we have taken like home shift home shifting example you are shifting your home and your mom asks you to uh, you know shift uh, to pack all your stuff right so you have many cartons and you are going to pack your stuff there right one carton is enough clothes and within that we are having like one carton for uh, shirts for jeans for maybe uh, like boots your flats your heels and you have multiple cartons so you can group like you can group the carton of shirt jeans and your night suits and your like maybe stoles tops in a big carton that and you can name that carton clothes right one carton footwear and within that Footwear carton, you have multiple modules or multiple small, small cartons like uh, carton having small carton having flats, boots, heels, like this, right? So, that thing we will be seeing practically in this video. So, let's jump into your laptop and let's see. So, let's see, I have this like Python project, and within this, I'm going to create a package first, right? So, I will I'll just go to this new rather than create file i'll click python package and i'll name my package like first package like home shift no dot py just home shift so it's simply just a folder or a directory home shift see this is our package home shift and within this by default uh, we have underscore underscore init underscore underscore py file right so yeah, before 3. Point, I, I guess 3.3 .3 and 3. Point, before 3.3 .3 version of Python, it was compulsory to have this init file because it shows that this home shift is a package, this directory is a package, right? But now in after 3.4 version, it's not compulsory to have this init.py file. You can just delete it and it would work fine, right? But we are going to keep it, right? Because I'm going to show you what the use of what is the use of this file at the end of this video so home shift is a package 
within this package i'm i'm going to create a new python package and that is like maybe shifting items shifting items underscore jenny okay because i have my brother my sister my mother father and those are having their different different cartons right so i have my own carton so shifting item jenny and within this also i'm having a new python package and the name i'm giving like clothes okay within clothes see we have three init file one for clothes one for shifting item jenny one for home shift jenny every package is having its own init file right so within clothes now i'm going to create a new file or you can say it's going to be a module so i'm having like shirts.py so in shirts.py and suppose one more file i have and there i'm having jeans.py so the shirts.py jeans.py these are modules so cloth is a package so the, in this cloth i have, i'm having two module you can have multiple modules this home shift is a package this package is having sub sub packages as well as maybe modules it can have modules so directly in home shift also i can create rather than creating a package i can create a file as well like a module and like maybe description description.py right and in description.py what i'm going to do i'm just going to print so this home shift is a package that is having one module as well as sub packages right so now in shirt.py in this let's write down something in this module let's write down something i am just writing down like uh, like this module or this carton contains all my shirts okay this thing i have in my shirt.py same for this jeans.py let's just copy paste this thing only and uh, we are just going to modify like hi from rather than short jeans module and suppose two modules we are having in shifting item jenny one for clothes and let's create a new python package there i am having so two package we are having in shifting item jenny package one for clothes one for footwear no dot py so in this footwear dot footwear package let's create a file and like maybe flats.py in footwear again i'm creating a new file and that is like maybe heels heels.py same you can write down something in this flat and heels so now we have taken a small example now this in home shift in this package main package let's create or in this folder let's create a file and i'm going to name this a file main.py so in this file i'm going to we are going to write down our code we are going to import whatever we need any package any module any function or anything and we are going to run this file right or in this clothes this uh, sorry this shifting items and is a package which is having two packages one is clothes one is footwear and one is this init file three things so it is having only two package sub packages you can say no uh, module you can create a new file and you can create a module like uh, books.py this is also fine right so module as well as package collection of modules and packages sub packages we can say right okay now in main dot in main file now how to use these packages right first thing we are going to import a module from a package right so how we are going to do that thing we just write down this import right package name dot module name so using dot operator so using dot operator you are going to import so import package name let's write down the package name like in this main obviously in this main i am having main module is main sorry main package is home shift so within this i am having main dot py so here i am having shifting item jenny package only one package and within this i am having two packages clothes footwear and this so import a package name shifting item jenny dot so see within this shifting item jenny you are having clothes it's a package books it's a file or you can see dot py file or it's a module and footwear so i'm going to import this module books
books right so within books do you have anything no i don't have anything so let's print something okay now in main we have just imported this now i have i don't have anything here i just have only one line i have just imported this from this package books module so let's run this see it will show you hi from books module only this line because we to call to execute this function you have to call this function okay that thing also i'll show you how to call the function how to import the functions or variables or classes from a particular module right now second way is if you have like sub packages so then package name then from clothes i want to access jeans module right so package name then sub packages clothes so what you will write in next line i'm going to write down just import shifting item jenny sub package name is clothes from clothes which module jeans right so let's comment out this thing and i don't write anything let's run this one line it will print hi from jeans module okay only this line because you haven't called this function right so it is not going to be executed i hope you got this now how to call the functions which are in these modules so from jeans module if you want to call the function display then what simply you will write not simply jeans dot uh, display no everything you have to write down this path shifting item the main package then sub package then the module name then the function name display see now you are seeing this module contains all my genes whatever is there in this display function right so this is one way right and i hope you got this now from books module your assignment is now from books module i want to call this display function right now how we are going to call that thing you have to write down in comment section okay and not just like uh, function you can have any like variable also a is equal to 1 you can access this variable also you can have a class as well as like in books suppose i have a class i'm just taking the name my class and within this i am having one more uh, maybe function like uh, like in my class i have just one like function book type and it's, it has all my non fiction books something like this and you want to access this variable this function or this class so function i guess you can easily access let me just show you how to access this class right from main so first obviously we are going to import this module books module the package name dot module name so let's just comment out these lines now i want to access the class so what you need to do you have to create object of this that class like b is equal to complete you need to write down not just directly the class name my class no the path also if you are importing with this method there is a second method also there you need to write down just the class name that also i'll show you one by one now with the help of this b dot c book type as you can see book type right if you run this then hi from books module and it has all my known fiction books right this is how you can access class you can access variable also you can access functions also right so how to access the function display that you need to do right you have to write down in comment section now next thing is let me show you the second method now there we'll use from so this is this was first method right so let's delete let's clear this thing now second way is use that from keyword from package name package name import module so package name is shifting item shifting item jenny and i'm going to import here i am having in this what module you have you are having this two sub packages and books so we can import books so this is one way this is how you can access let's run this and same it will print one line now in this case if you want to access the function what is there in books that display function then no need to write down the complete path because we have specifically from this package imported books this module right 
so you just have to write down what the module name dot function name like display no you have, don't have to write down shift item jenny dot books dot display like this let's run this see right now maybe you are thinking this description dot py we are not able to call this description dot py because this description dot py this module is within this package home shift right and this home shift this main this main file is also in this home shift package so if you want to access this description dot py also then you have to write down you have to create a main file your main file outside of this home shift package like in project python project we have create a new file main and from there we can access using home shift dot shift item jenny dot description this kind of thing right okay now if sub packages like from shift item jenny let's comment out these lines and from shift item jenny dot sub package is what clothes or footwears let's see this time take footwears footwears import in footwears i am having two modules flats and heels so i am going to import flats right and now flats dot display simply you can call this kind of thing let's run this and see hi from flat module this module contains all my flats right and in footwears i am having like two modules flat and heels so same like comma heels you can have multiple here module name okay so here heels dot display this will work fine now if you want to import all the modules like in this package footwear package or if in the any package i am having 10 or 15 modules so and i want to import all the modules so what is general idea this thing we have done you know previously also like from the name of the package import maybe asterisk maybe you think it will work fine but it is going to give error and how to solve that problem that also i'll show you but here one thing i want to tell you if from this particular module footwear i want to access particularly specific function not the complete module so not this complete module flats suppose in footwear in flats i am having three functions so here i'm having three functions display flat type flat color and some description i have in these functions right and or maybe you are having like 15 or 20 functions but from particular module i want to import only one function or two function right so if you write down something like this import flats then it is going to import everything which is there in this flat module means this line as well as all the like functions every function but i want to import a specific function or specific variable or specific class then what is the way you can just simply write from shifting item jenny dot footwares dot flats import i just want to import only display function so display right now flats dot display but if you will sorry no no need to write down now flats dot display it, it is going to give you error let me show you see name flats is not defined here this flats is not defined because you are not importing flats you are importing a specific function from that module only display so here no need to write down anything because you have imported that function so directly write down the name of that function display let's run this and see this module contains all my flats now display and same i want to uh, access like display as well as uh, my flats color so that also you can call flats color directly like this see right and if you want to import all the functions so rather than writing comma comma just one way is like you can write down here asterisk it is going to import all the functions see this this and also here you can call one more function is flat types 
directly you can call C, call a query. Right? Yeah, you can import the functions from a particular, under a particular module using this asterisk, but under a package, if you want to call all the modules, then this line will give error. Because maybe under a package, there can be many, many, many modules. And maybe that modules are not of your use. So that is why it is restricted in Python that you cannot call all the modules because it is going to take definitely some time to load all the modules that you don't even need, right? So you have to just after import, you have to specify module name, right? So this was third method. If you want to import a specific function or a specific variable name also, you can write down here like in flats, I'm having a variable a is equal to one, right? So if you import here like uh, display comma flat color, only these two functions. So let's run this. See, it is not going to show you the variable value a is equal to one. If you want to import, then you have to just write down the name here like a. And here I can simply print a. C, 1, right? So here it's not like that you can specify only function name, function name like class, variable, anything you can specify here, right? So these are three ways. Now let's come to the point. If under a package I have many modules and I want to import all the modules. Like under footwear package I have two modules, flats and heels. So I want, I want to import to both the modules. So I'm just writing this asterisk. Maybe it will work. I don't know. Let's run this. Okay, it is not giving you any error. So let's print first here. Like maybe uh, you think that under this, we are having two modules, flats and heels. So we have imported these two modules. So let's write down here, flats, sorry flat dot display i want to access that function right let's run this see flat is not defined because you haven't imported these flats so what you need to do we have a underscore underscore all underscore underscore variable in this init file so you have to override that variable right so within footwear because you want to access under this package all the modules so under this package footwear we have init file so open this file and we have a variable now you don't have anything here so we have a variable underscore underscore all underscore underscore you have to override this thing and you just make a list under this footwear package the modules you want to import just write down the name of those modules so modules are flats, comma, heels. So you want to import all the modules, you have to write down the name of all the modules here specifically, right? Now here, if you write down here asterisk, it means it will import all. All means it will check the init of this footwear, this package. And here within this all variable, you are having the modules name. So it is going to import all the modules. See now we are not getting any error, right? So now this asterisk is working fine. We are able to import all the modules under this package because we have overridden this init file under this footwear package. And see if you want to access this description. So if you have something like we are shifting from Gurgaon to Delhi. So outside this home shift package within this um, project, Python project, let's create a new file maybe like main one dot py something like this from here we can access this description so if you want to access just you have two to three ways i have told you all the ways to access this particular module so from package name is home shift we are going to import description right let's run this and see we are shifting from gurugaon to delhi this is main one dot py file outside of this home shift package right
I hope you got the idea now what is a package, how to create your own package and how to work with these things. Right? So now that's it for this video and now I will see you in the next video. Then bye bye. Take care.